Stephen Curry, Chef Curry, signed a five-year Supermax contract worth $201 million. This is the richest contract in NBA history. Curry's previous contract came back in 2012. It was a four-year extension worth just $44 million. By comparison, Russell Westbrook has a Supermax offer for $217 million. He can either sign that this season or next season, but right now, Curry's contract is the richest in NBA history. And this is why the Warriors were able to win and be such a great team because like I said before many times, they drafted all these players. So when you're drafted, your contracts are below the market. Curry, Clay, Draymond. So then in free agency, when they add somebody like Kevin Durant, they have the cap space to make that happen. That's what makes the Minnesota Timberwolves so interesting right now because they have a couple of players, Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, that are on those rookie type contracts where they're below the market. So if they pile on the rest of the positions and they add key players, they could be just like the Golden State Warriors. That's why we have to pay attention to them. But Steph Curry, two-time MVP, he definitely deserves this money. He's earned it. He should have had it. He's been so underpaid the last few seasons. He's setting records, three-point records. You knew that he was going to get paid eventually, and that's why this Warriors team is going to be tough to keep them together going into the future because Klay Thompson, Draymond, when their contracts are up, they're going to be in a similar situation where they can get big money. And what else is interesting about this contract is that LeBron James, the GM, he was on Twitter and he reacted to this big contract from Curry and he basically said, how come Curry can't get a $400 million extension? Why is he limited? Why are players limited to these imaginary caps? Because the Warriors in 2010 were sold for $450 million, but now they're worth over $2 billion. So the GM was chiming in because you know that the GM, he loves for the players to get paid. He wants his teammates to get paid. He wants to get paid. He wants other stars in the league to get paid. So this is very interesting. Now, in other news, Blake Griffin has decided to stay with the Clippers. He gets a big contract, five years, $173 million. And this is probably why CP3 left, because he knew that he could not get a max contract if Blake Griffin was going to get one. So he found a team that was willing to trade so that he could still get his max money, and so could Blake. Last but not least, Drew Holiday signs a five-year, $126 million extension with the Pelicans. Is that the point guard of the future for them? What do you think? Leave it in the comment section below. That's a very interesting signing. Drew Holiday, he's had a pretty good NBA career so far. Do you think that the Pelicans should have stuck with him? Is that their point guard of the future? That is the question I didn't already have. Defeating this slaver. It's all about that Chris smooth crossover, getting them leaning. I got him leaning. I'm almost about to die. He's swinging for the fences. He's swinging for the home run. But you know the rules. If you reach, I teach.